It's a little bit windier out there today than it was this time yesterday, but it's also a little bit cooler as a result. You probably don't notice a ton of low visibility or blowing dust in our Midland Sky Cam right now, and you know what? That is just fine with us. Although blowing dust, especially localized blowing dust, is going to be a possibility all throughout the evening and into the overnight hours. 80 degrees today right now, 45% humidity, not bad. Southerly wind sustained at 25 miles an hour, gusts getting up to 36 six in Midland, 35 in Ozona, 30 in Wink, Artesia at 40 miles an hour. Yeah, but notice how almost everyone outside of our DMA is still on the windy side enough that we, yes, we do have some of those wind advisories extending into not just the Permian Basin, but also out toward Abilene, toward San Angelo and look at much of New Mexico right now too. Now the Guadalupe's are under that high wind warning. That's certainly nothing out of the ordinary. We've noticed that a number of instances, of course, visibility wise actually not being reduced, uh, at least not by much in most areas, still between nine to 10 miles of visibility. So that is certainly good news in terms of activity on radar limited as could be nice clear skies, minimal activity, no rain chances coming in the way either overnight tonight. I have our low temperatures kind of sticking around those lower 60s, certainly well above average, but that's what happens when you have that strong wind coming in from the south, causing a lot of that blowing dust. So strong gusts still expected throughout tomorrow morning and even into the evening. So yeah, you might have to refill that washer fluid on your car and two hands on the wheel just because it is going to be a little bit rough out there in terms of temperatures, though. Very similar to what we saw yesterday and what we're seeing today. I have highs getting up to about 83, good enough for a medium sized iced coffee. But all right, Halloween is literally two days away. Are we going to get out of these, you know, high highs in the 80s and kind of go back down into the 70s where we should be? Yes, it's going to be coming up, but we're going to have to wait a little bit. Wednesday morning, not a lot of cloud cover. That stuff clears out as those winds take over. Notice on the model here that definitive line of that cloud cover with a bit of that rain kind of out toward Abilene. That's our next front that pushes through. Then it's going to stall out in the south and try to move its way back up. So Thursday, especially for Halloween, you're not going to see rain chances, but we are going to see those rain chances make a comeback by Friday evening. Now we're not looking at anything too terribly widespread, but we are going to see even on Saturday the chance for even some isolated to even severe thunderstorms taking place during that time temperature wise. Well, we cooled down a decent amount. Look at that 70s during the during the day. Yeah, I'll take it. Then we kind of just get stuck with a little bit of rain until our next front comes through, which knocks us down all the way into the 60s for the highs. Wow. All right, I'll take it. Lily Beth doesn't look like ice cream weather, Jordan, but hey, is it the end of